was always there. Correct. Did you see the new artwork when you walked into the building, by the way? Oh, you can't miss it. Yeah, boy, oh boy. Someone was hard at work decorating WFMU overnight. Did you see some of the Facebook posts of the bus stops in Yerushalayim that have been decorated for Purim? No. Go on... Shout out to Tova Knecht. Go to Tova Knecht's Facebook page. Hey, Tova, I hope you're listening. You know she's listening. What's up, Tova? Um, Where is she, in Katamo? No, she's in, um, she's in uh, Arnona? Where is she? I don't remember. She's somewhere around there. I don't remember. Uh, but either way, she posts these great pictures of bus stops in Yerushalayim that have been decorated for Adar. Pre-Purim pandemonium. Yes. Cool stuff. Wow. She also po she also posted this morning on Facebook that there was terrible wind near wherever she, I think near the bus stop that she was at, and no. I don't see that. That what? Her, what About she? the wind. Oh well, I definitely read it on her. I'll find it when I come up for air in a second. But anyway, she said that that this guy's yarmulke blew off. And so she picked it up and gave it back to him, and he said, be careful, the wind. So something about, be careful, the wind's so strong, it'll knock off your shaitel. Be careful, you know, like, right. whatever, and that freaked her out, which I completely get, because there's an unknown panic as a shaitel wearer that one strong gust is going to give you a whole different look. Exactly. There it goes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Taking flight. Wow. Taking where'd it flight. go? Where'd it go? I didn't even know where it went. <laughs> Who was that? Uh, there you go. Oh, my gosh. 1-800-989-9368. J.M. and the A.M. By the way, it doesn't... 1-800-989-9368. Time Shlomo Katz performed live for J.M. and the A.M. Anybody, anybody know the answer? When was the last time that Shlomo Katz performed live? Pinachama. That is correct. What other trivia you got for me? That was at the Gush. Remember yes, that? Yes, it was. That was at the Gush. How long ago was that? Because we lived... Two weeks. Stop it. You, last week you said it was three weeks. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. It was yesterday. During the same visit, you may recall. Correct. During the same visit, I had the honor of meeting Tova Kinesh for the very first time. Who's, according to the two-second phone call I had with her about a minute ago, yeah. whose heart is beating out of her chest. <laughs> Wait till she finds out what's up next. Tova Kinesh, welcome to JM in the AM. Hello. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Since you're, first, of, first of all, i got to take care of business. Since you're one of the world's most popular bloggers, uh, please, please blog about this incredible fundraising marathon. It'll bring in thousands of dollars for JM and the AM, and I thank you for that. Oh, I doubt I'm that famous. <laughs> now, Tova, honestly, between me and you, because the last time we spoke on uh, any type of broadcast, which was during the live lunch in Israel, uh, you were emphasizing how important it is, or at least how important it is to you, uh, to make Aliyah, to get to Israel ASAP. And sure enough, of course, you're in Israel right now. But please... Please, please, please tell this audience that there's only one reason that someone should not be making Aliyah, and that's if they are taking care of the JM the AM broadcast and making sure that it airs every single morning so that people in Israel as well can tune in and enjoy the show. Um, but you can't, you can't broadcast from Israel? Uh, I, do see, I do it. I do it. I do see what to go along with this routine. Amazing. Not a chance. Amazing. Not a chance she's going along with this routine. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> Pretty perfectly. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty true. <laughs> that's true. That's uh, true, but it was worth it. It was a good baseball could, metaphor. Could we have her uh, speak to the staff and management here at WFMU and maybe uh, maybe force, or I should say move along, the process of uh, broadcasting permanently from the Holy Land? Tova's very persuasive. That, you know what? That may This may be the advocate that I need. This may be the right. person. By the way, this she's may... your next manager. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Sayonara. Exactly. It's been uh -oh. nice knowing uh -oh. you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look what happens, you put me on the air and I get a job. I know, no joke, by the way. Well, this is the way it works in the awesome the, world. The bigger <laughs> news is you came on the air and Miriam lost the job. That's exactly. the bigger news in this case. Anyway. Does mom so, just get fired when he sits here? I doubt it. Okay. I doubt it. Just I can't remember. I can't remember an episode like that. Just this. Anyway, Toba, please, please beg, yeah. the, beg this audience from the Holy Land. That's why you're all the way in Israel. Tell them they've yeah, got to participate and keep us going here for another year at JM and the AM. Please. Yes, I'm, going to, I'm going to pledge rough line. You don't have to announce it. All right. <laughs> I wasn't even asking for your pledge. I'm asking you to remind everybody how important it is that they call right now. Yes, everybody should call right now and support JM and the AM. Thank you very I much. I listened to you guys since I was like two. Wow. I'm even younger. Oh, probably, no. For sure. Oh, no. See, have I, I know been, that doesn't make me feel have, old. Have I been on the air? Have I been on the air that long? Has it been that long? Wow. Well, Tova just celebrated her birthday. 
Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, I got I got your birthday message. There you go. Thank Remember, you. Mayor and I, and I hear that right. we, Yes. And I found out that we share um, your triplets. Have the same birthday. Yeah, they're March 9th. Um, the triplets are March 10th. Oh, the March 10th. Right. So we're a day apart. Tova was a, a day apart and a few years. But last, I'm sorry about that, but you just said you've been listening to Nahum since he's two, so I had to get back at you a little bit, you know, in terms of the age thing. <laughs> I had oh, you back. got my back. I had right. you back there. Thank you very so much. So I get to work another day? You have a job. Thanks. Yes. I, won't, I won't announce on, my, you know, on air how old I am. Uh, hello, we just have to check your Facebook page, friend. Oh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, uh, Miriam pointed out the uh, pre perm pandemonium that you posted, which was really oh, cool. Okay. But what was the yeah. other thing? What was the other thing you were looking for? That we didn't find on our Facebook page. Where was it? What was it? I heard that you guys about. Wait, so this is what I heard. You were, you were talking about my Shaco story. Yes, my right. story. Correct. You guys are you guys are stalking my page. Well, <laughs> it's either that or and you I, post even I, more I, than I do. Yeah. What was oh, it uh, that we were looking for? We didn't find. Uh, just the Shaco story. She just said. Oh, that was the one. So where is it? On Facebook? No, it's on my private. No, I sent you a friend request because you finally oh. have opening a friend request. I haven't accepted it yet. Tova, if it makes you feel better, I friended my mother about three years ago. She still hasn't accepted my friend request. Yeah. Neither has Steven. Um, it's fine. I just sent the friend request to you. That's weird. So what happens? Now that we both have sent friend requests, at what point? Are we friends? Well, the truth <laughs> is, <laughs> the truth is, I'm sure I think, you're better. I, I think by our third interview, we'll be friends. I, I, I think at this point, since you're much yeah. better at this on Facebook than I am, I assume you're just going to accept the friend request and I will see your post. Simple as that. Right. right. And you could keep talking about my shameful stories. It is amazing how I'm finally I figuring out social media. To, I implore everybody to follow me on Facebook, though, COVID in Israel. Everybody should go follow me. Hey, you, you lived in Bergenfield, right? I did. And before that? Tina. Before that? And before that, Sayek. So you've lived in New York for how long? Exactly. Right. And before Passaic? I was born in Passaic. You're born in Passaic. So you've never had anything but a New Jersey license. No, but my point is that right. she could speak to major Jewish communities in this state and tell them why it's so important to support JM&M. I mean, after all, she can relate to waking up to the show. She can relate to driving to school and work to the yeah. show. She's been listening to you since she was in utero. Correct. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> I lost my job again, didn't I? You could say that again. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so she, uh, so she can relate to all this. She can, you know, she could speak to the fact that uh, this is such an important broadcast to have in the Jewish community, and uh, for Definitely people, is. for people to enjoy. Um, hey, how many people, uh, how many people uh, did she reach when she uh, posted the show that we did in Israel? Do you know? I don't know, but she's it definitely insane, more popular right? than we are. Unbelievable. Yeah. No, that video, that video didn't go quite viral. It was two point five hundred, uh, twenty five hundred people. Twenty five hundred people saw the video. You saw that video of me and you. Wasn't that like a two hour video? No, no, no I only did my clip. I only did my Oh, just that clip. <laughs> you know, it was we, still long though. For as as the internet goes, it was still a pretty long interview, though. No? It was like a four minute. Yeah, it was like four minutes. Four minutes. minutes is a long video. You know that. You have a whole team of people who Nines. get things done. Thank you. I love how you think that she posted a two hour show. Oh, thank okay. you very much. I didn't realize that someone <laughs> had, just had cut the interview and put it up. Yeah. No, and Miriam, thank you for getting me the the audio and then the video. Yeah, the good job. Oh, great I got my job, job back for an hour. Yeah, great job for that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Tova, are you going to be able to convince all of our mutual family members? to uh, make sure to pledge as well. We should mention, by the way, that the Knechts from uh, New Jersey are a wonderful, wonderful family. They certainly are. We've yep. had them for a long time. The Knechts and the Robots and a lot of it, and the Brodies. All supporters I, for over 30 years. Well, I, I didn't, this phone call happened so quickly that I didn't have time to WhatsApp everybody to listen in. So, <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get I to might, the audio. <laughs> exactly, I, I might need the audio again. <laughs> They're all support. Everybody you just mentioned are supporters for over 30 years, you know. Yes, they are. You realize we're all, getting, we're all just getting very old. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, <laughs> what okay. is the, um, you know, that somebody was uh, somebody was uh, proposing the other day, after hearing you on the air, that yeah. uh, you might want to consider, or we might want to consider, uh, you hosting a show on the Nahum Siegel Network. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and now that you're in Jerusalem, and now that you're in Jerusalem with access we to... We really talk about that. You understand your being speechless is not good for business, but... No, I, I, am, I am not speech, I am not a speechless person. I have, not, I have a lot to say. Can I, can I just give credit to the person who came up with that idea? Was it you? Yes, it was. Thank you. Oh! Yes. Miriam! I know. It's a genius idea. 
if I do say so myself. And um, and because you have access to incredible people in Jerusalem, it could be uh, it could be a groundbreaking uh, program. But uh, yeah, hey, we're we're getting we're getting way ahead of ourselves here. Have your people call our people, and we'll set something up. Be careful. She's got a lot of people. She's got a lot of people. She's got a lot of friends. <laughs> nice. Tova Kanech, thank you so much. Keep, uh, oh, keep you so much. We cannot this believe you were actually listening at the very moment that your name came up. Imagine that. Imagine how I, yeah, I got, I got, some, I got a message. I got a message to call. Oh, really? That's great. I wonder who it was. Relative or friend? Matis. It was Matis? Are you serious about <laughs> no, Matis? No, I'm totally messing Because Matis knows the Kanechs. It wasn't Matis. No. Relative or friend? It's un- unnamed, unnamed. Oh, you can't even tell me if it's a relative or friend. Interesting. Spooky. That is spooky. Spooky. All right, thank you, Tova. 1-800-989-9368. That was exciting. Speaking to one of the world's greatest advocates of JM and the AM in this forum during our fundraising marathon, Tova Knecht. She made a commitment to pledge. I wasn't even forcing her. I wasn't even forcing the issue of, of having her pledge on the air. I know, but she stepped up. She stepped up is right. And now she'd like to, and we'd like to see everybody do the very same. 1-800-989-9368. As you head to work.